Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, MD General Medicine and a Rheumatology Resident and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel, Dr. JT. In this video, I'm not going to take much of your time. This video is very short and quick tips that are five important things for your final need PG exam. Many might have already told you, go quick to exam hall, carry admit card, water, food, etc. All these are, will be very common, but yet may miss some of them. So in exam tension, don't forget the essential to carry to the exam hall. But in this video, I will not be telling all that. I'm gonna tell you five things that you need to tackle one hour before the exam, which is called the war preparation time and the three hours of exam time, which is called the war time. First thing, very important, listen very carefully. You will be entering the exam hall one hour before the exam starts and you will be assigned a computer and will make you sit idle for one hour. That one hour is called war preparation time. A mini war happens in your brain. During that one particular hour, lots of thoughts run in your mind and your tension keeps up building and rising. So what you need to do is, as soon as you reach your seat, just with calm mindset, close your eyes, take a deep breath for a minute and start recollecting the subject. This can be done in two ways. Do not try to recollect big subject or big concepts. Take a short subject or a short topic and that uh, that too you are very much familiar or confident about and start recollecting that particular topic only. Because in exam hall, your brain will feel null that you have forgotten everything. So this feels like nothing is there inside your brain which will actually uh, trick uh, performed by your brain on you. So that's why try to recollect things that are very much easy and you actually able to remember those particular topics. So this can be done in two ways. Do not try to recollect a big subject or big concept. Take a short subject or a short topic that you are very much confident about and start recollecting that particular topic only because in exam hall, your brain feels like uh, null. That means there is nothing inside your brain. You have forgotten everything. It's actually a trick that is performed by brain on you. So try to recollect things and also recollect easy subjects which will really help you to reduce your anxiety and stress in the exam hall or you can also have a visual tour in your brain close your eyes and activate the photographic memory and recollect the images flowcharts boxes or few topics that you have seen before coming to the exam hall as it is that is there in your notes these two ways will actually gain lots of confidence that you are all set for the exam and you won't have tension that your brain did not remember anything second thing do not look at others in the exam hall even though they are your friends or strangers a beautiful girl or a boy no matter what doesn't have a look at anyone anyone no because everyone will have that tension stress and anxiety looking on their face and if you look at them and till that till that particular time you might be uh, you know you might be very relaxed and confident but as soon as you look at them that tension might also transfer on to you and you also might feel that stress so just sit in your cabin recollect the topics peacefully third thing till you go to the exam hall there are many people like parents mentors friends who will motivate you and encourage you and push you but but in the exam hall, you are your own motivator. You are your own mentor. So keep talking to yourself. Tell to your own self that you will do well. Just tune your brain that you will do well with all the positive intent. Just keep boosting yourself because in life at any point of time, ultimately you will be your own game changer. Fourth thing, number of questions to attempt. This is a bit tricky with the change in the pattern. You know, everyone has become uh, very doubtful that how many questions is it good to attempt. So always remember, if you think you have prepared very, very, very well, it is always safe to attempt at least 180 to 190 MCQs. You will be in a safer zone because 10 to 20 MCQs will always be completely new and nobody will actually know, even the topper doesn't know. So you don't need to worry. If you find completely a new question, just don't go for your ego and try to attempt it. And because most of the times it has a high probability of going wrong. Last and final thing, the fifth thing, while attempting the MCQs, read the questions into your inner self to keep your brain active and quick. Some people will just stay 
and stare at the screen while reading the question which is not a good habit actually you just have to read yourself read inside the question so if you don't know mcq but you feel that you have read that topic don't worry mark for review and next thing if you don't know mcq but you feel that you have read that topic don't worry mark review such questions and keep it for last so as the pattern is completely changed there will be five sets of 40 mcqs and after attempting each 40 mcq set you can't go back only forward so don't worry if you don't know any question or if you are very much doubtful uh, try to attempt try to move to the next question as soon as possible keeping that for the review and at the end of the 40 mcq set if you have time go back to it if you not maybe you are not sure about it there is a probability that you are making wrong so let it let it stay that way otherwise if you stay stick on to that particular mcq for longer time you doesn't have that much of time because you have only 42 minutes for 40 mcqs try to go and see every mcq in the first uh, 20 minutes and try to go as fast as possible then if you have enough time you can spend uh, uh, you can you think you can spend with time on this particular question because you have read it and you are not able to uh, recollect it then you can spend time so try to look into the 40 mcqs in the first 20 minutes then you spend uh, a particular time uh, that you wanted to spend on each mcq that is the best suggestion that i would give with this change in pattern of mcqs for this exam and one last thing if you get 10 tough mcqs in a row you will definitely lose your entire confidence and there and then you'll make mistakes of mistakes for other mcqs as well which is where which are actually which might be actually very easy so don't do that so no, the game is not over until you click the submit button you should be ready and challenging for every mcq that you attempt so go keep going even though you get very tough mcqs in the beginning keep going keep going keep going you will find easy moderate and the mcqs that are just uh, given for you for your brain so don't give hope don't don't lose hope till the end of your exam last note you know what you need to believe in your learning strategies study plan and all the hard work that you have done if it wasn't you who will believe you that you are going to crack it be the first one to believe in yourself and i believe that you guys will do great great and the greatest all the very best a small request is that in the comment section or in phone or through messages send your friends or any person who is preparing for neat pg tell them don't worry you are going to get through this exam you are going to crack this exam wish them the best wishes and they will get all the positive vibes and you will also get the positive intent see you again after the exams i will be doing much more fun content for you after the exams so you will be all stressed relieved uh meanwhile you know what to do do like share and subscribe bye bye take care